Washington. And Heather, you said it. Some progress is being made, but still a lot of work still to be done. Crews are dealing with an awful lot, just like right here behind me. We're on Nadine Meadowcrest in Huntington Woods. You can see this large tree came crashing down. It's on this telephone line and power line. And if we come a little further down there, you can see that wire just dangling down here. Of course, this is somewhat of a dangerous situation. Driving around this neighborhood, some folks have power, others do not. Some are telling us tonight they cannot go another day without it. This room is obviously the closest room. This is where I sit, right here, warmest room, right here. So. She knows it's not safe, but Maria Sabreco believes heating her Southfield house with the stove is the only way for her to keep warm. She suffers from muscular dystrophy and needs electricity for her wheelchair and adjustable hospital bed. There are some people that this is life or death, and, and for me, that's what it's like. I'm suffering and I'm uncomfortable but there's nothing I can do about it. Hundreds of thousands are still in the dark tonight, trying to adjust to the new norm for now. We just have our milk. Kat Dementsonier using this cooler to store her food. Others are still trying to figure out how to stay connected and charge their phones. We had to be prepared with flashlights. We had candles as backup just in case. But other than that, you just you lose everything. But inside Bella Vista Glen in Highland Park, seniors are wishing and waiting. They have a generator in the common area, but the rest of the building is cold. Please come to Bella Vista Glen and help us get our lights back on because there's people here that's on, um, you know, breathing machines and things like that that really need the power, you know, and then it's really cold. Of course, we know crews are working really hard, but a lot of people still demanding some help tonight. You can see this tree. This could take a long time before this is cleared up. And if you're quiet when you drive around these neighborhoods, you can hear the buzz in the air of generators. DTE says that about 75% of its customers should have power back by tonight. That's good news. 90% of its customers power by Sunday night. For now, we're live in Huntington Woods. Aaron Baskerville, 7 Action News. And they're working as fast as they can. Aaron, we thank you for that update.